Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this latest Bike Farkles. Today we're not actually farkling the motorbike, we're doing our boots. And what we're going to do is get a mirror shine onto the toe cap of the boot. And I'm going to show you how to do that without using the hot spoon method and various other methods that you might have seen or heard of in the military. <coughs> so what do you need? Well I'm just using ordinary Kiwi polish. There is a better brand of polish if you want to use it which is called Saphir and I'll link to that below. Um, but I'm just using Kiwi polish and it's just ordinary black polish. I'm, I have here a 7% solution of isopropyl alcohol and water. So this is 99% which is much too strong. So I've actually put um, a very small amount onto the saucer here and added quite a lot of water which has given me the 7% solution. You can measure it out if you wish using measuring jug. Um, and you can keep it in a bottle for use. You won't use very much. I mean, you, can, you probably can't see how much there is on here, but there's very, very little. The next thing you need is a glove. Now, you can use your hand if you wish, but I would strongly recommend that you use one of these gloves. Okay, so if you don't have isopropyl alcohol, you can use rubbing alcohol if you've got it, or you can use vodka or gin if you wish. Um, and I prefer to drink that. Um, it must be a weak solution. It must be under 10%. So whenever, you, whatever you use, it must be weak. If it's too strong, it'll actually um, damage the shine on the boot. And if it's too weak, it won't work. So. Somewhere between 5 and 10% is fine, and of course halfway between 5 and 10% is 7%. The other thing I've got is a duster. You do not need a duster as such. This is a, an ordinary shoe polishing duster. What I would recommend is that you get um, an old t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt, and cut it into about a foot long strip, about 4 inches wide, because we'll be using that to do most of the polishing. Okay, now, so what you need to do is you need to, oops, I don't know if you can, right, so one boot, uh, these boots are about 18 months old, they've done about 24, 25,000 miles on the bike, I take them on and off about three to six times a day, that's on and off, three six times a day um, and I use them five or six days of the week so uh, doing quite well now what you need to do is you need to polish the toe caps and the heels today for the sake of time I'm just going to do the toe cap you can if you wish do the sides but this is where it bends so the mirror finish won't really last very long. You want it on a section that doesn't bend, okay? Which is why the heels and the toe caps are the best. So, just using your finger, just pick up some polish and rub it into the leather, getting into the creases, okay, of the the joins, the, the sole, and into the crease for the gear lever guard. Okay. So. Now you need to do this, depending on how good your boots are, um, or how good condition your boots are, about between six and ten times. As you can see, this, this one's damaged. I don't know if you can see there's some damage just there. Um, so um, there's more damage just there, there and there. So this will take probably about 10 layers of polish. 
I might actually have to use the hot spoon method on this. Don't forget to get it into the joins and cover it all over. As I say, we're just doing the toe caps. Okay. So that's layer one. I'm giving about a minute or so between each each layer for the polish to dry just a little bit and the whole process will take well depending on how old and how damaged your boots are between 10 minutes and half an hour to do the toe caps and again another 10 minutes to half an hour to do the heels so you're talking between 20 minutes and an hour depending on how damage how much damage there is and how many layers of polish you need to to put on so there we go. so rub it in i'm not rubbing hard I'm, I'm you don't want to push down too hard you're just wanting to cover with a layer of polish so that's two I'll speed it up so we can do it. So you don't watch me just polishing boots. And uh, we'll come back. In a few minutes. Right, we've got about six or so coats of polish on. I can just see a little bit of the damage, but I'm not going to repair that today because that's going to need the hot spoon treatment. So, this is where the dilute isopropyl alcohol 7% solution comes in. Okay, get your cloth and you want to wrap it around your finger okay and hold it tight you want a nice a nice edge just there if you've got enough room you can wrap it around your wrist now tap now i don't know if you can see that but it's hardly damp hardly damp and you don't want a lot this is this is important and just put a, a couple of dabs and then gently start, and I do mean very gently, start to rub. Okay? You don't want to put much pressure on at all. It's, um, it's very, very gentle, this. Okay. Now, if you find that your boots aren't shining then it could be that your isopropyl alcohol solution is not dilute enough okay so what you need to do is make sure it is dilute enough okay right so let's as I say, I'm just stroking it. I'm not actually polishing. I'm just stroking. And you can start to see the effect just here. And it's starting to come through. Just a little. 
say you don't want much. This is probably a bit too wet. Just very gently. Rub the surface. What the alcohol is doing is it's helping to melt the wax and make sure it goes into the pores of the leather. And by doing so, it's making it much smoother. And as you know, a smooth finish is usually a shiny finish, which is why we polish our motorbikes and our cars and so on. It's to get a nice smooth finish and the water is helping to allow the cloth to slide over the surface it's actually acting as a as a lubricant at this point okay i don't know if you can see it but uh, i can certainly see that there's a shine developing your polish on your toe cap needs to be dry so leave it for about as I say 10 minutes before you start doing this okay and as you can see if the polish is dry and of course these boots were cleaned with a brush and then polished normally with let's say with a normal polish so that they were clean beforehand you can't do this on dirty boots you've got to have clean boots so these were polished up beforehand i don't know if you can see that but i'm working in my garage and i don't actually have electricity down here so i've got a little battery bank which powers an inverter and unfortunately one of the lights that I've got doesn't actually draw enough power and so consequently the battery bank the inverter doesn't think it's actually using any electricity so it switches itself off after about 10 minutes so Remember to get into the seams, you can probably see, I don't know if you can see just there, there's a, a line that needs doing there. Right, we've got a, a basic shine on there, it's nowhere near ready yet, but we'll start on the second one. So I don't know if you can see, there's, there's not much liquid on here, and that's important. Okay, you don't need much and you don't need any pressure. I'm literally stroking the leather. I'm not actually rubbing. I'm not, oh. this is just stroking it very, very gently. And as you can see, it's starting to, to develop a shine. Now, once we've got this basic shine developed, we will then start to increase the shine. Now, there is another trick, but because I'm in my garage, I can't do this trick. And this other trick is instead of just having isopropyl alcohol and dilute solution in a saucer, you can place an ice cube in the saucer put the dilute solution of isopropyl alcohol on top of the ice cube, just pour it on top of the ice cube, and say, I've probably got a total of two teaspoons of liquid in the saucer. So if you pour that over the top, and then you just dab the cloth on top of the ice cube you don't want it wet now this is very important it doesn't want to be wet it just wants to be damp so if it gets too wet you can see it's not very wet 
Okay, just dry it off on the newspaper. Don't forget to work your way into the seams. Those are important as well. Now, I over ran a little bit with the polish onto the creased bits. Now, although you will get an initial shine from that, as soon as you start wearing them, then you're going to have the shine come off because the creases will crease and break the the polish layer. Okay. So I'm just checking that the light was still on. So as you can see you need to get into the into the seams. And it is, it's very gentle. I'm not actually giving it any pressure whatsoever. There's probably a little bit too much liquid on my cloth. So let's dry it off a little bit. And I don't know, you, you can probably see that the shine is developing. I don't know if you can see the damage. There's one, two, three lines there and a fourth one just there. And as I say, that will need the, the old hot spoon trick to fix, I think. And again, very, very light touch. Very light touch. All right. Now, we've got the basic shine. And this is a very basic shine, it won't pass inspection yet. Okay, so what you want to do, now you don't want to pick up much polish and you don't want to pick up much water, you just want to touch to the polish. Okay. And what you're doing is you're just increasing the shine, you're just putting the polish on the areas that need it bit of difficulty getting into this seam at the moment. I don't know if you can see that. The shine is developing. Just touch. And There's enough liquid on the cloth that I don't need to wet it at the moment. Come on. Just very, very gently. I don't know if you can see, but there's so little, I'm picking up so little polish with the dab. And it is just a dab. But it, <coughs> it's just enough to help fill in the gaps, the little holes, the little pores, and help develop the shine. Starting to look a little bit like glass. It won't it certainly won't in pass inspection. Uh, I have the, the sergeant stepping on them and telling us to do them again. But we're starting to build the shine. Okay. So again, just the dab. And again, it's it, it's very very gentle. You're you're not putting any pressure whatsoever at all onto the surface. Just 
to, oops, I've just got the metal there. I don't know if you can see, there's hardly any polish, if any, that you can see on there. But there's just enough to help fill in those pores. Okay. Now, depending on how damaged your boots are, depends on how long this will take. And this can take anywhere from and say about five minutes or so if you've got a brand new pair of boots and you're wanting to give them a mirror, mirror finish it will take probably only 10 minutes and I do recommend that as soon as you get your boots you do this to them because it will actually help them last a lot longer because it feeds the leather um, now these are leather boots they're Gore-Tex lined but they are leather <coughs> and uh, so they they have seen better days they're not as new as they could be which is why they're taking a bit a bit longer to shine up and so literally just keep dabbing the liquid dabbing the polish and then shining gently if you start to get a mark I don't know if I can show you any because I can't see it but if you start to get what looks like a sort of dry mark that just won't polish that means you've used too much liquid um, and you'll need to let the boots dry out oops um, so if a, a part just won't won't start to shine you've used too much liquid so leave the boots for 24 hours, let them dry out completely, and then continue, but use much less liquid this time. Okay. So that's if you get one like that. Right, so that's how you get a mirror shine to your boots. I shall work on these for another 20 minutes or so, and then I will show you the results. So, thank you for watching. I don't know if you can see, oops, sorry, I don't know if you can see that. We've now got a gloss shine can't quite see my face in it and so on but uh, after another 20 minutes or so I probably will be able to and so I will show you the end result at the end uh, thank you for watching mm -hmm.